Hi, thanks so much for inviting me to share some of my ideas on entrepreneurship and um, starting small businesses. My name is Dawn Nathan Jones. I'm an investor. I was a judge on MNET Shark Tank. Um, I've been in big business. I've started up um, a lot of small businesses. And I'm here today to talk to you about um, some of my ideas. So often it's very difficult to differentiate between a good idea and a bad idea or not so great idea. And many entrepreneurs pitch to me um, with their idea that obviously they think is a great idea. But how do I know an idea is good? I always look at the sustainability, the longevity um, and the scalability um, of the idea. And whether it's an existing um, idea, if the business exists already, um, is there something different? Is, is there something unique about it? Or is it an idea that maybe can be reinvented? Because some of the greatest ideas are ideas that already exist, but they take it to a different level. They reshape it, they remodel it, they retransform it. And that's, that's what I look at, is this business um, or is this idea um, able to reinvent? Is it able to build traction? Um, those are the things that I look out for. When an entrepreneur pitches to me, um, there's, there's a couple of things that I look for. First of all, the actual entrepreneur itself. Um, it's, it's really important that I resonate um, with, with, with that person. And whether that person is authentic, or if they've just come up with this great idea and, and, and they're really winging it or, or chancing it. So I, I do go through an in-depth um, sort of analysis of, of, of the individual. I try to do as much um, research in terms of that individual, where they come from, um, what businesses have been successful, what haven't been successful. Not that people that have had unsuccessful business ideas um, are, are not investable people, because many of the great entrepreneurs, the likes of um, Richard Branson, to mention but a few, I mean, they've all had um, businesses that have failed. That doesn't mean to say that the business um, is, 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 is not um, going to be a success. So I look at the individual. That is the first thing I look at. Um, I look at, I do look at the numbers. Um, numbers for me are absolutely critical. And I try and crunch the numbers as much as, as humanly possible. I don't believe though in analysis paralysis because obviously you can, um, you can actually get yourself into a corner where no business is, is ever, ever gonna take off the ground. So, so the numbers for me are absolutely critical. Then I look at, um, I mentioned the individual, but I also then look at the individual and who is surrounding, who's supporting that individual? Because it's very difficult to be a one-man band and be successful. You've either got to have good partners in your business or you either have to have good people that you can go to, good go-to people, whether they are good marketers. Um, I do believe that you need, particularly today, um, with, with technology moving at the rate and the speed that it is, that you need somebody with a really good understanding of technology and preferably a younger person who understands um, the challenges of um, the fourth industrial revolution and how that's going to change and reshape businesses. So it's really important that that individual pitching to me is surrounded or partnering with other people who can support um, this person in other areas. Because very often an entrepreneur coming to pitch um, is very passionate, has the idea, they're the founders, um, but very often they it's just a one-man band. And so I like to, to, to invest in, in more than one person because you know it's actually quite risky just investing in a business that just sits in one person's head. All the creativity, all the knowledge sits in one person's head. In the event of an individual coming to pitch, I look to see whether there's opportunities for partnering them with other existing businesses. Are there similar businesses, businesses that are aligned to their businesses, or, or try and um, form a, a, a collaboration. Um, I believe in um, the world of entrepreneurship, collaboration is huge. Whether it comes to sharing offices, sharing resources, sharing ideas, sharing um, you know, the, the resource of technology, which is quite expensive today, financial resource. So I, I try to look at partnerships and try and put people together. 
In fact, even on Shark Tank, um, there are a couple of businesses. In fact, there are three businesses. Um, one I actually didn't invest in, and the other two I did invest in. And those three people, I, I actually have formed like this little coalition, um, and, and they share ideas, and they're in three totally different uh, businesses. For me, one of the, the, the big skills in, in business, whether it's small business or big business, is the ability to be able to lead and influence others. I think um, leadership is, is, is vitally important, but leadership is a pretty much an overused um, terminology. Um, you know, everyone talks about leadership. But somebody who can, who can actually take the business to the next level and, and take people you know, with them to be able to share your ideas and communicate them um, articulately um, and to be able to share your vision. Um, so I think leadership is, is, is absolutely um, critical and to be able to um, communicate um, is, is absolutely critical. One of the areas where I find that um, entrepreneurs, when they're pitching the idea or pitching their business, where there's um, a huge weakness is people actually coming prepared and knowing their numbers. I think preparation is, is, is the key. Preparation is sort of 90%. If you do the right preparation, the research and, and all of that before, um, and if you come prepared, you've got to know your numbers. Um, and I think the big failing is that so many people get so hooked on the idea that they haven't done enough research, they haven't looked at the numbers um, properly. For me, the learning in Shark Tank was, was very much um, people didn't know their numbers. And because of that, I've, I've, I'm actually involved in a business where we're taking a program to the youth and to schools um, to, to educate um, kids on, on, on how to be able to pitch a business. Because I think most kids out there have got a million creative ideas. But how do you take one idea and, and, and really believe in that idea and you know, make it into a business? And, and how do you pitch that idea? You know, getting, to know, um, getting to know your audience, getting to know who the potential customers are. So you know, for me, the, the two big things is, you know, the, the pitch um, is, is, is absolutely critical. Knowing your numbers, knowing your customers. You know, I found that throughout Shark Tank, um, one of the big areas were so few entrepreneurs even mentioned the word customer. Um, they were sort of over, over complicating their business. And at the end of the day, every business has got a customer with the customers in the middle, the front or the end of the business, depending on, on what the model or what the, um, the, the distribution is. So some of the um, key lessons that I've learned in, in, in business is perseverance, um, you know, not to give up. Um, and it's so easy for us to give up. But I think as entrepreneurs and as business people, we've got to, we've got to persevere, we've got to persist. And if we believe in something, we really have to carry it through um, to the end. Um, I talk a lot about um, grit and determination. I believe that um, you know, what has helped me and what has helped me be successful is just being absolutely determined all the time. Some characteristics of um, good businesses or good leaders are, are people who can um, have a dream and create this dream for themselves and who really able to see it through to the end. You know, so few people can actually follow something through and, and very many businesses or, or many, many businesses, I think 80 or 90 percent of businesses fail because there's no follow through. Very often people give up too easily um, and they, they really haven't taken the core of their business and, and really stretched it um, as, as, as much as humanly possible. Um, they give up because, you know, the first month they want to make 100,000 rand turnover and they don't and they give up. And um, it's, it's really important to be able to diagnose and to take a post-mortem and analyze what, what went wrong. And very few people can actually do that. I think it's really, really critical to, um, to be able to personally brand yourself. Personal branding is, is absolutely essential um, in any business. And I look at people like Oprah. 
Oprah Winfrey, um, who is like an amazing example of, of how to brand yourself. I mean, she could put her stamp onto anything. Um, and, and, and a Richard Branson. Um, so you've got to be able to brand yourself um, and, and have your own personal stamp and be identified and be unique. And also have a great sense of humor. And um, I, I mean, I, I am quite wicked when it comes to uh, my sense of humor. Um, I do like to laugh. And if I go back to my, my, my business career, I mean, I really enjoyed the times, you know, during a, a board meeting where there would be this, um, you know, laughter and people would look at things um, from, the, from, from a different angle. And I must tell you a very funny story. I was many years ago when Virgin Atlantic launched the airline in South Africa. I was at a very formal um, dinner in Santon where Richard Branson was giving this presentation. And halfway through the evening and after many whiskies and a couple of drinks later, like Richard sort of disappeared and everyone wondered where he was, the host disappeared. So I'll tell you where he was. He was actually under the table tying shoelaces, people's shoelaces together. So you'd find two men sitting together and he would tie their shoelaces. So, so as everyone got up, they actually fell over. And, and that really, for me, is, 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 is personal branding, making yourself unique. But that comes from within. I mean, you can't go and, and, and create a sense of humor if, it, if, if that's not within your, your unique DNA. So um, I really do believe personal branding, um, having a sense of humor, um, you know, creating your own space for yourself um, and, and being different. So guys, thank you so much for watching and um, I hope I've been able to give you some insights um, into either leadership or entrepreneurship or, or starting a business um, and I wish you everything of the success for 2019. May it be a great year. And um, I don't know what I'm going on about. <laughs> Just go back to the question again.